Hi, I'm Tom Holland, Bowflex Fitness Advisor. This is why you should do slow repetitions. Now, Bo's gonna demonstrate a squat. Now, she can do as many as she wants, as fast as she wants, and let's just show that. So do some really quick repetitions with a squat, even faster. So a lot of people try to do fast repetitions. That's not as effective as going slowly. So she's gonna slow it way down. Three to four seconds on the down, and then one to two seconds on the up. What does this do? It gives her greater results, so the tension on her muscles are more throughout the entire range of motion, and she's gonna lessen her chance of injury. She's taking out momentum, she's using perfect form, and she's keeping the muscle engaged. So, so important. So a little slower on the down than the up. Ryan's gonna demonstrate this with a push-up. Thank you, Buzz, awesome. So show a push-up. A lot of guys do what I call pulses, right? So just not a huge range of motion at all. They're just trying to do as many as possible, not as effective. So to watch now, see that? He's going through a huge, full range of motion. The tension is on his muscles, shoulders, chest, and triceps at, all at the same time, and he's getting more out of that. So it's not how many reps he does, but how well he does them. So a little slower on the down, taking out the momentum, and a little quicker on the up. That is perfect. Harder, yes? <laughs> and there you have it. Why you should slow your repetitions down. To get weekly videos with workouts, fitness tips, and more, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button.